Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Crime Boss Rocky City which released yesterday is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop black screen and all these kind of issues even stuck on loading screen and how we can fix this app so uh, the crime boss rocket city is actually available in the epic game store okay so we're going to talk about how to fix this so the first thing is all about when you're having an issue with this particular game all you need to do is you just need to do a restart on your pc and that is what you have to do for doing a restart you just need to follow the same instruction that is very simple just go over here click on this one and go to over here and click on a restart after restart is successfully done we can launch the game and that is what you have to do so just launch the game and once you are done with launching the game i mean uh, after a restart you are trying to play the game most probably start with the restart this is actually a simple step doing a restart is not going to fix the issue but just try with the reach uh, i mean uh, with the restart and that is what you have to do so just start with a restart and restart will be working fine for you so once after restart is successfully done we just need to move to the next step so next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step that is all about we need to move to next step that is verify integrity of game file sorry i accidentally uh, pressed this one so let me close this Okay, I apologize. Accidentally, I launched the game in the middle of video. So uh, the next step is all about. We need to. <clears throat> the next step is all about. We need to verify integrity of game file. for that reason we have to go over here in the library now once you go to the library over here you can see that this is the game now click on this one go for manage now from here we have an option called verify files so just click on this one this is going to take a little bit of time when you click on this one so what happens is it will be checking if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be checked by this so you'll be able to fix the issue so you can try this step this is an important step and you should be doing this So after verifying the integrity of game file, most probably the issue will be completely fixed. So uh, it is going to take a little bit of time because the game is around, you know, uh, good good GB is there, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So once you're done with this one, so we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For that, we just need to click on this one. Now from here, we just need to go over here. So as you can see this is over here right now so let this get completed so if you ask me the question how to navigate to the installation folder that is quite simple so once this is done we'll be showing you that so we need to launch the game from the installation folder right now most probably most of us will be launch the game from the epic games itself so instead of this we need to launch the game from the installation folder which is quite simple so uh it, we get we have two way we can navigate it from here in the steam it's i mean in the epic game itself or we can navigate to the using file explorer like this for that we just need to go over here go to local disk c so the next step is all about we can uh, go it in two way that we can go using the launch installation folder using the file explorer so just open this now from here go to this pc now go to local disk c now from here you can see the crime boss rc just open this folder and here is the game so just open the game and launch it up so after la launching the game from the installation folder this particular step did work out for many users you can launch the game from installation folder instead of launching the game from the epic games launch the game from there it did work out so this is what you have to do next step is all about we need to run the game as an administrator so for that we need to same way we just need to close uh, minimize this one go to the installation folder like i said go to local disk c because game is installed over here now open this now go to crime boss rc over here now from here we need to select the uh, exe file right click and go to show more options and go to properties now go to compatibility now from here there is an option called run this program as an administrator select this one go for apply and go for okay and try to launch the game so once after that launch the game most probably the issue has to be fixed because launching the game in the installation i mean running the game as an administrator did work out for many users and you can try this out as well next step is all about we need to change the windows language to english if you are using any native language 
I don't know how this is related, but this did work it for many users. So along with changing the language, make sure we need to set the time and time zone should be correct and region of your country should be correct. So I'll show you everything. So just go over here in the search. Now go to settings. So first one is all about we need to go to time and language. From here, go to language and region. Now over here, as you can see here, I'm selected English. But if you're on any native language like Chinese, Japanese or any other thing, you should be selecting the English as the native language. So click on the add language and search for English and you'll be able to find English from here. So just add the English and once you set this to English language, then once after that, make sure the country or region should be correct. So I'm from India, so I have to select the India. Once it is done, just go back and go to the date and time. Over here, this is an important one. Make sure the set time automatically and time zone automatically should be correct. So you should be turn it, turning this off as well as this off. Sorry, you should turn this on as well as this on. Once you're done with this one, both the thing is done. You just need to close this and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about we need to launch the game and we need to press Alt and tap together while you're launching the game. So when you launch the game, just click on the launch. At the moment when the game is launching or pressing on the launch, you have to press Alt and tab on the keyboard. This did work out for many users and you can try this out as well. So this is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. For that, you just need to go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, you need to go to documents. Now over here, you will be able to find the game folder on the crime uh, crime boss rocky city you'll be able to find it so once you find it just delete the folder keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it once you delete this one you just need to close this and go back and try to play the game as well next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search we need to go to uh, control panel so let me search for control panel over here go for control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here into keep scrolling down and navigate to check whether the crime boss city is already added so if it's not added we can add it by default so it is not added so we need to add it for that just click on allow another app go for browse and we need to go to local disk c now from here we just need to go to crime boss rc now here the fire application so just add it go for add so right now as you can see the crime boost is already it is added okay so where is it okay. so once the crime boost is already added you just need to uh, make sure the public and private should be checked and once it is done you just need to close everything and you need to go back to the epic games launcher and try to play the game next step is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices some of you guys might be playing the game like rainbows any other game over here you will be playing the game with connecting the controllers like uh, you know if that is the case just remove everything from the usb port remove every single thing from the usb port controllers joystick logitech wheels if they are connected if you are using or playing the game with multiple monitors remove everything from the controller i mean from the usb port after that launch the game once you launch the game successfully just connect back the controller i mean if you if you wanted to play with the controller with the joystick after the game is successfully launched just connect it back and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search we need to go to system configuration go for services over here now go to disable all before that hide all microsoft servitor should be turned on once after that it could go for disable all once you go for disable or go for apply and go for okay it might ask you for restart in some cases if they're asking for a restart just restart your pc and launch the game over here from the epic use that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to update the graphics card manually so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd users so if you're on the nvidia what you need to do is you just need to go over here in this link now from here you know, just need to go for product type product series product operating system language etc so here i have selected all the details windows 11 and once you give all the details over here just go for start search now from here once you go for the start search you'll be getting the details like this over here you can see we are having the latest version that is 531.41 which is released on march 23 2023 which is few days back so just download this version 
download and install this .exe and after installing this one restart your PC and once you restart your PC try to play the game once again most probably this should be help you guys so if you're if, imagine that if you're on the AMD so I'll be providing AMD link also so just go to the graphics over here select every details once after that go for submit now from here once you go for submit you will be getting these options so if you're on Windows 11 download this one if you're on Windows 10 you need to download this one if you're on Windows 7, you have to download the respective one. So just download all these from here as well as this also saying, install this one once after that restart APC and try to play the game after launching the Epic Games. Most probably this has to be worked as well. Next one is all about, we need to increase the virtual memory. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go to view advanced system setting. Now from here, go to advanced, click on settings, go to advanced once again, go for change, now from here under virtual memory this should be not checked that means if this is selected it will not be able to select the local disk so uncheck this and select the local disk where the game is installed once after that go for custom size here we have to give the value for initial size as well as the maximum size so initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is 3 times the total ram so first we need to know the ram if you don't know how to check the ram of your computer just go over here go to settings now from here go to system at the top now keep scrolling down and navigate to about from here go to 32 gb over here as you can see the installed ram is 32 gb so my ram is 32 gb so based on this i need to do the give the uh, value over here so i need a calculator so first i need to go over here so i need to multiply 32 gb which is my ram so if your ram is 2 multiply 2 into any other uh, the rest so 32 gb is my ram i have to multiply my ram with 1024 that is a constant value so multiply your RAM with 1024. So if your RAM is 4 GB, multiply 4 into 1024. So 32,768. Now I have to multiply it with 1.5 times because initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So that brings me 49,152. So I just have to paste it. Now moving to the next one that is maximum size. I have to go over here. Now multiply 32 GB into 1024. So I have to go for 32,768. So I have to multiply it with 3. Now I have to go for 90,304. So I just have to copy this and I have to paste it as well. So this is the maximum size value. Go for apply and once you're done with this, just go and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. Now from here, we need to add the game. Over here, as you can see, I have already added all the games here. Simultaneously, we need to add it. So if you the game is not added for the first time, we just need to add it default by click on browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk C. Now from here, add, click on Crime Boss RC, select this one and go for add. So right now the game is added here. So just click on the option. Over here, as you can see, this is let Windows decide, change this to high performance and go for save. So once you change this to high performance, when you're launching the game, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 with Max-Q design is being utilized so that there will not be any kind of crashing and all these kind of issue. So if it is on Windows decide, you will be having the trouble. So change this to this one, save this up and go back and try to play the game. If these steps are not working, then move to the next one. That is, we need to update the windows. For that, we just need to go over here, go to settings, go to top, go, uh, I mean, bottom left, now, as you can see, Windows is not up to date, so I have to update my Windows before retry and update the Windows. Make sure this is on the latest versions and once after that, try to play the game. For many users, when they launched, when they updated the graphics card as well as updated the Windows, it did work out for them, so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. Last and the least one is all about, we can uninstall and reinstall the game. For uninstalling the game, just click on this one and go for uninstall the game. But keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back. Now, when you're reinstalling it back, it should be, it should not be on the same local disk which is already done. So here I have installed the game on local disk C. So if I'm uninstalling the game on reinstalling it back on C, it's not going to work for me. So if you have any other local disk, change the position of game from local disk C to respective one. That means in a new local disk. Once after that, try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to try with this one that is, all about we need what we need to do is we need to give few commands in the launch option for that we just need to go over here go to manage sorry it's not manage for that just need to click over here at the top now go to settings 
from here keep scrolling down keep scrolling down and select the game crime boss rocky city now from here keep scrolling down now here we have to give the command so the command is first one dx11 give the command dx11 and try to launch the game most probably when you give the command dx11 it should be fixed and if this is not working we need to change this to dx12 give the command dx12 this is also going to work for you as well so after dx11 or dx12 any one of this will be working if both the thing is not working even after trying just remove everything from here keep it like default then try to play the game as well and also for some users when they tried all these steps this did work it for them and you can try this out as well this is when it comes to how to fix crime boost it, uh, crime boost rocky city is having crashing uh you know won't launch or not launching freezing and stuttering low of ps drop stick on loading screen black screen all these kind of issues and how you can fix this up and we hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye